Hello my loves, this is Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the top nine, I can never do nine, the top nine most famous prison tattoos. So if you're interested in what those tattoos inside of prison mean, please keep watching. If you're new here, my name is Ro. I am the founder of an organization called Strong Prison Wives and Families, the author of a book called The Comeback Code. I will post a link to it right up there. I use my years of experience to help prison wives and family members. We do not glorify, we do not glamorize prison, prison wife, prison life here. Frankly, the whole entire thing is really depressing and it sucks. So I will teach you how to make the best out of this really depressing, hopefully one shot deal. If you like my content, give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Hit that subscribe button and ding that little notification bell. So you are the first to know every single time I post a new video every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and sometimes we go live in between. I have people who are fighting over first comment and I think it's the most adorable thing in the world. And I love you guys so much for being being so sweet and so supportive. Okay, so without wasting any more time, let's get into the fun video. The first most famous prison tattoo is three dots. This tattoo isn't necessarily associated with a particular gang, but it more signifies the gang life. The three dots represent three words in the common phrase, mi vida loca, or my crazy life. And commonly it's found on the hands, on the wrist, or around the eye. The second, second, what in the world? Today's not my day. The second most famous prison tattoo is a clock with no hands. The tattoo of a clock with no hands represents doing time and doing a lot of time. You got a lot of time, but it's also standing still because there's no hands. And a lot of times this is either just a representation in a clock, but usually on really long termers, you'll see it represented as a watch with straps and everything, just a watch with no hands. The third most famous tattoo in prison is five dots, and it's completely different from the three dots. The only thing similar is that they're both prison tattoos. But the five dots usually represent what's called the quinnunx. I don't know how to say that, but what it signifies is the fact that you've done a lot of time, and it's four walls, the four dots on the outside, and the fifth represents the person inside of jail. It's in the middle of those four walls. It's confined. The fourth most famous this tattoo inside of prison is a teardrop tattoo. The meaning of this tattoo can vary based off of where you're from, your geography. So a lot of times it just means that you've done time, period. In other places and a lot more commonly, it's known as a tattoo that signifies that you've taken somebody's life. And you can see the teardrop has been popularized a lot more by rappers and celebrities and other people who have decided to start wearing the teardrop. But still, it's a staple and you'll see the most teardrop tattoos inside of prisons. The fifth most common tattoo is either a cobweb or a spider web, however you call it, but it's a spider web tattoo. You'll see them commonly on people who've done a lot of time. What it's supposed to signify is one of two things. Either you're the spider, the inmate's the spider, and they've been trapped up in the system, they've been trapped in this web, or you'll see them a lot of times on the elbow, and what that's supposed to signify is that you've done so much time that you've just been sitting around with your elbow on the table long enough for a spider to build a web on your elbow. They are very common on the elbow, but now they're also getting really common on the neck. So the sixth most famous tattoo is an A, C, uh-oh, I have to look, is the ACAB tattoo. So first of all, because this is the top prison tattoos in the world, this is more of a British thing. So what this stands for is all cops are bad word that starts with a B. And you'll commonly see this on legs. A lot of times you'll see this across the knuckles and that signifies a willingness to be able to go to prison. You're willing to go to prison and do time for your crew or for your gang. So there's also people that say that ACAB means always carry a Bible, but the speculation is that that's from people who have kind of matured, have outgrown the criminal life and they regret getting that tattoo. So they kind of had to make some sort of alternate for what it means because yeah, they're permanent, in case you didn't know. So the seventh most famous tattoo in the world is a tattoo of a crown. And this tattoo is a symbol of the Latin Kings. They're a group of 
Latin people based outside, or it started in Chicago. My God, that was really hard to find PC words for. But, so you'll see the crown and you'll see it anywhere on the body. And the five points on the crown mean, I just, I looked this up to study it for you guys because I thought it was really interesting that there, sorry, I hit my foot on the desk. I know you heard it. I thought it was really interesting that that one group of people was within the top nine and there was not another group of people. I didn't, I debated even putting this in here, but it is one of the top tattoos. So I figured I'd share it with you. And the reason it's a five pointed crown is because that the kings are associated with another group that they kind of fall under something with the number five, but I don't remember. And I really don't want to say it here on YouTube, but the jewels in the crown and the color of them start adding other meanings. I didn't really dive really deep into that because I didn't really want to get into all of that, but that's, I guess all you need to know. You could do your own research. Okay, the eighth most common prison tattoo is either playing cards or a suit in the deck of playing cards. And typically that just means it's an inmate that likes to gamble. They like to gamble either inside of prison or outside of prison. It doesn't really even matter. It's just that they're into gambling. The other thing is it could also signify somebody who just looks at life as a gamble, which is a kind of common trait for people who are incarcerated. They just, everything is just meh. It's a gamble. Let's do it. Let's take our chances. Let's break the law and see if we get caught type of a thing. And the ninth, why? I can never do nine. <laughs> the ninth most common tattoo that you see inside of a worldwide prisons is a cross on the chest. This signifies the Prince of Thieves, which is the highest rank that you can get in Russian prisons. This is often seen on Russian convicts. And the most amount of people that you're gonna see this on are very high up mob bosses in the Russian mob. So there you have it. Those are the nine top worldwide prison tattoos. If you want another video on the top US prison tattoos, or if you guys want me to do a video featuring your prison tattoos, your prison wife tattoos, that could be really cool. And what they signify, and help you guys if you want a tattoo to represent your relationship, what other women are getting, what other men are getting to represent their relationship. I'm trying to beat the clock. You know what, while we're here, cause it's not a long video, this is my one and only tattoo. This is, it's like the most basic white girl tattoo, which makes me crazy. But I got this way before it came, it became popular and like models were getting it. It symbolizes my five sisters, cause it's a five pointed star and we're all really close. So we call it our sister star. And I was telling somebody, I'm like, yeah, it's a sister star. And they're like, what's a sister star? Define that for me. And I'm like, it's a star that all my sisters have. And he's like, oh, I thought that there was like a specific star that was a sister star. No, we all have it. My one sister and I both have it on our wrist. Two of our sisters have it on her foot. And actually my other sister is in the process of waiting to get hers. I don't think she wants a tattoo, but you know, it does represent all five of us. So there's that. This is Editing Row, and I just wanted to come in really quick and tell you this story. My older sister told us one time that she was afraid of the pain of a tattoo. That's why she didn't want to get the sister star. And I, as the bratty little sister, had to call her out. I was like, Christina, you had a baby in an ambulance in your driveway with no epidural or any kind of pain helping anything and you're afraid of the pain of a measly little star tattoo and she just stopped and went <laughs> she giggles she doesn't want a tattoo and that's totally fine she's star sister and we love her even without her sister star so there's that i am potentially working on getting one for my mom a memorial piece and also i do want a piece eventually to represent adam but i don't know if i want to do it until he comes home and i do not want anything i don't think i want anything prison related on my body i think i want something to represent the struggle that we were able to overcome and that love conquers all so that might be a piece in the works i don't know i haven't really decided i don't know do people start tatting themselves up at 40. why not right let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know what other tattoo videos you wanna see. Let me know what you think about these prison tattoos or the tattoos that you've most commonly seen inside of prison. You guys keep staying strong, keep loving strong, keep supporting one another through this journey because you're one day closer to it all being behind you. Lots of love from my heart to all of yours. I'll see you beautiful ladies and gentlemen in the next one. Bye guys.